Hello everybody. Now we are up to chapter 14, Reverse in Cambodia, Unit 1, Cambodia's Reverse System. So today, we are going to talk about Reverse in Cambodia, Unit 1, Marian Timoy, Cambodia's Reverse System. Jang mon nang chol de da som chu ai chai subscribe nang ru kan dang ai kru mui phong In chapter 14 Rivers in Cambodia Unit 1 Cambodia's river system we are talking about section A vocabulary picture read the story as and answer the question section B look at the tables my the statement ta lấy chấp tam ở kia section a vocabulary capital noun capital the city where the governments of a country or state is located region ni example Phnom Penh is the capital city of Cambodia. Cover verb. Cover to put or spread something over or on something else to protect it. Group. Example. Snow covered the hillsides. Direction Now The way someone or something faces or travels Direction Tức đại Example They throw away in opposite directions Eventually Adverb Eventually at a future time or in the end or finally negative job example it might take him ages but he he'll do it eventually level now position in height stage or rank level comrade Example, these are subjects for discussion at management level. Low, adjective, close to the ground or bottom, not high. Deep. Example, when we want skiing, I only went on the lower slopes. Point noun. A particular place. Point. Chấm nói. Example. I'd like to discuss the first point in your essay. Regional adjective. Of or relating to a certain area. Regional Tam Nambal Example Regional wait season lasts from May to November Geography Nam The physical features of a region or place on the earth Geography Phum Chia or Phum Sa Example Because of Cambodia's geography, the rivers are divided into main water systems. The white verb to separate into parts. The white by chai. Example At the end of the lecture, I the like all the students to divide into small discussion groups. 
so everybody have you got any word that you cannot read or pronounce you can ask again right if you all understand and can read let's move on to picture look at the picture here is it the map of Cambodia yeah you can see here Cambodia right what can you see in the map the name of country the name of river here and the Great Lake city like Phnom Penh here can you tell us one of the rivers on the map who can that what river that you know in Cambodia you can tell and also share some knowledge to your classmates okay like upper Mekong like Tân Lê Sa lower Mekong you can tell everything about what you know about it okay and move on to reading so look at this reading read the story everybody let's read together Cambodia has many rivers. They flow from the mountains, highland area into lower parts of country. Because of Cambodia's geography, the rivers are divided into two main water systems, the Mekong and the Great Lake system. The Mekong, which starts in the Himalayas flow from the north to south for 1,200 kilometers across Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam to the South China Sea. It is the 10th longest river in the world and the 4th longest river in the Far East. The Mekong is the widest and longest river in Cambodia. It flows for 500 kilometers through the country from the north to south. At Phnom Penh, the rivers divided into four, the Mekong Le, Upper Mekong, the Mekong Kram, Lower Mekong, the Basa and the Tunlisa. King Punyayat, who moved his capital from Angkor to this place in 1431, changed its name from Blood River to Chattomok, which means Four Faces. This is where Phnom Penh has stood for more than 550 years. During the regional wet season, which lasts from May to November up to 3,500 meters shoot, per second of water flow down the Mekong and it reaches its highest point over 12 meters like many rivers in Asia. The level of the Mekong sometimes rises to high and cover like areas of land with fl flood waters. The other main water system is around the Great Lake, which is also called Bang Tun Le Sap, and is joined to the Mekong by the Tun Le Sap. In the wet season, huge amount of water from the Mekong flows north up to Tun Le Sap into the low-lying area around the Great Lake. The level of the lake rises, its area increases, and the land around the edge of the lake becomes flooded. However, at the start of the dry season in November, when the level of the Mekong falls, the water changes direction and flows from north to south, eventually joining the Basa and the lower Mekong, which then flows on to the sea. 
So, can you get it, everybody? Should try to read a few more times to make sure that you can understand the time. Okay? Read and read, and you will be able to understand and can answer all the question. Okay, let's look at the question together. Who can read the question? One. How is the water system in Cambodia divided? Two. Where does the Mekong come from? Three. Through what countries does it flow? Four. How long is the Mekong in Cambodia? Five. How deep is it at its highest level? Six. Why and when does the Tulesa change direction? Okay, let's answer together. Number one, who can? One, how is the water system in Cambodia divided? The water system in Cambodia is divided into the Mekong and the Great Lake system. Two, where does the Mekong come from? The Mekong comes from the Himalayas. Three. Through what countries does it flow? It flows through Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. How long is the Mekong in Cambodia? In Cambodia, the Mekong is 500 kilometers long. Five. How deep is it at its highest level? At its highest level, the Mekong is more than 12 meters deep. Six. Why and when does the Tulesap chain direction? The Tulesap changes direction because huge amount of water from the Mekong flows into it in the wet season. It changes direction in the wet and dry season. Okay, do you understand everyone? You can write down in your notebook. Don't forget to write down. If you have any question that you cannot understand, you can ask again. If no, let's move on to section B. Look at the tables. Here you can see one and here one, two, three, four, and here A, B, C, D. Like one, Cambodia has two main water system. Two, Punyayat moved the capital to Phnom Penh from Angkor. Three, the Mekong is the long chest river in Cambodia. Four, the place is called Chatumok. A. He was a Cambodian king. B. The four main rivers meet there. C. The Mekong flows from the north to the sea in the south. D. They divide the country into two parts. Okay, mark the statement and rewrite them to make one statement. Let's mark together. One. Cambodia has two main water systems, but divide the country into two parts. Two. Punyayat, who was a Cambodian king, moved the capital to Phnom Penh from Angkor. Three. The Mekong, which flows from the north to the sea in the south, is the longest river in Cambodia. 4. The place where the four main rivers meet is called Chattamok. Okay, do you all get it? Have you got any you don't understand? You can ask more. Goodbye.